So here we're going to take a look at how we include bibliographic information in a LaTeX document. So the way we do this is we actually have our normal document, our main.tech, where we write the code and we say what we want uh, to be included. But we kind of need another database of all our bibliographic information. That's kept separately. So I'm going to create a second document now. It's a new file. Um, and I'm just going to write um, bibliography bib. If I create that, that's an empty file. There's nothing written there. So we need to include some information. So you can write the, there's nothing wrong in stopping you writing the information in here uh, in the correct way um, yourself, but there's so many sources that have it uh, correctly and with all the details that you shouldn't, I don't really recommend doing that. So if you go to, for example, Google Scholar, and here I'm searching for a particular book, More Math into LaTeX by uh, Gratzer, and I click on the site button, we get all these citations here, but we can also click on, on the BibTeX button, and that just gives us directly um, the BibTeX code. So I've copied that, and I pop that into, into this document. But that's not done much, okay? Um, if we go back here, if we, if we recompile, um, nothing's changed because I haven't told this, uh, this LaTeX document about anything in the bibliography. So um, what we're just going to write is we're going to first of all cite it. So it's, you shouldn't just include bibliographic information in your bibliography if you don't actually cite it in the text. So I'm going to go a very helpful reference for later is, and now I'm going to use the, the tilde again for indicate I want this to be a space, but I don't want it to be a line breaking space. And now I have to use the key. So just like we did with sections where we did slash ref, I now have to include the actual key of what I want to cite. If we go back to bibliography.bib, there's lots of information here. The very first thing here is that key. And that word can be, that, that keyword can be anything. Um, and so let me, uh, let me copy it. And if I put that here, that means that I'm going to be citing that particular uh, document. Oh, and I just noted another thing that's not great. My, my title is not first. I should include my title first. And then the final thing we need to do is tell this LaTeX document, tell the LaTeX compiler that we want it to look for its bibliography in this particular file. I've called that bibliography.bib. I call, call it whatever I want. And so the way we do that is we go bibliography, bibliography and uh, write bibliography.bib. So where the file is. And again, if I was doing this locally on my machine and not using Overleaf, I would include the path to the file. And another important detail we need to use is we need to tell it the specific bibliography uh, style. And we'll just go for plain here. Now, if I recompile, we see that we've got a reference. Uh, for LaTeX is one, and one is uh, George Greater. More math into LaTeX, Springer Science Books 2007, which is just the information we have here. 